Hey everyone, welcome, it's Josh. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a thrift haul video, but it's not one that's been recent. This is one I've uh, been collecting since I've collected my whole life almost. Um, but this is uh, my collection that I've thrifted throughout the years. Probably most, most of the stuff is from about 15 years, probably the oldest thing until now. Maybe a little bit older, I'm not, yeah, probably about 15 years I would say. Um, but yeah, this is my my personal collection that I'm gonna get rid of, let other people enjoy. Um, start selling off all the stuff that I, all these figures that I picked up. I don't really need them. Um, I, yeah, let other people enjoy them. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, so either stay tuned and watch the whole thing, or if you're on Facebook or Instagram, I'll break it up break it up into multiple parts. And uh, anyways, I'll show the whole whole collection real quick and then um we will i'll go over like kind of each not each individual figure i don't have enough time for that but i'll go over each table that i got here and show you guys close up of each one that i have and uh yeah let's get let's 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 get into what i this is my almost entire collection i did sell off a couple things already um, I don't know the value really of any of this stuff. Um, I will say that I have Iron Man figures that are like three inches that I've been selling at like ten to fifteen dollars a piece for the smaller ones. Um, even the Titan figures, which I think are the worst in my opinion, and are the like the worst quality. I sell these for twenty dollars a piece pretty much all day. I've been selling quite a few of those. I've actually sold. If you watch any of my uh, what sold videos, I've sold quite a bit. This guy might actually be worth the most out of my collection, maybe. He's pretty cool. I don't know. I'm, I've never looked up any of these. So, but yeah, here's some of the Titan figures. Those are gonna get get up for sale. I'm not sure about Hulk, but I think he may he may be up there. Um, I sell I sell these quite a bit. Um, they're easy to find. Um, but I sold those for like twenty dollars a piece. This might be staying in my personal collection. Uh, when I was in elementary school, I was voted pretty much the poorest kid in school. So they picked one person out of our entire school to go on them. Toys R Us shopping spree. One of the figures that I picked up back in elementary school was this. He has like a, he actually has like a trench coat and a hat that's supposed to go with him, but I don't have that. But I, yeah, he's one of the first figures that I ever collected back back in the day, other than some Team and T figures that I was able to pick up and stuff. But yeah, these are all the, the 3.5 inch figures or the 90s uh, Marvel. Pretty cool little collection here there's some like 2000s uh x-men figures x-men was like my fit oh the other one i'm probably gonna keep when i first started like thrifting and collecting in my adult years she was the very first item i picked up at all was this um invisible woman fantastic four in the box i'll probably keep her but the rest of them i'm probably gonna put up for sale but yeah, we got some uh, X Men. In back in the nineties, was the sh TV show was one of my favorite, one of my favorite all time shows. We got the cool lunchbox here. This Ghost Rider figure is awesome. Apocalypse Beast was one of my favorites. Beast Wolverine Cyclops, my favorite X Men. I did like uh, Storm and Rogue as well. They're pretty, pretty awesome. We got some uh, Guardians here. Um, I might keep John Bernthal. I met him, so I might keep the Punisher figure. I do love that show too. So we might he might be staying in my uh, collection as well. A little Anti Venom, Juggernaut, Thanos, a little Spider Man, and then we have uh, I got a little Spider Man Monopoly that'll be going up. And then this guy might be worth a lot too. This is. Uh, Craven and it's a, a limited edition 2500 um, statue. So, but yeah, here's a little overview again of everything in my collection that I'll be putting up for sale up on my website, jtshop.com. If you've been with me this whole time, I appreciate you for checking out my Marvel action figure collection. Have a great day, everyone.